Hello guys, I have really really good news regarding the official support for the Leap Motion in DCS. For those of you who don't know it, the Leap Motion is a small device that you can attach to your VR headset and it tracks your real life hands and DCS supports that and is able to show your hands in the virtual cockpit and you can even use those hands to, to interact with stuff. You can touch buttons and do anything you will do with your mouse but with your hands instead which is really really cool uh, but it had a, a really annoying problem in the past that problem was that the hands were always interacting with the stuff that they touch and when you were trying to grab your real life hotas your throttle and stick the hands will usually start touching random unwanted buttons and switches especially surrounding the, the throttle so it was basically unusable because of that problem you didn't have a way to, to quickly disable or enable the hands, so you were only using them when you really wanted. Uh, I have pointed that problem in a previous video, and maybe ED has seen the video, or maybe they have had the same idea I had, but basically they, in a previous update, in a recent update, they added the ability to map buttons that enable and disable the hands. So for instance, if I want to, I can just disable my left my left hand and it's no longer a problem I can grab my hotas and it won't interact with stuff surrounding it of course you can do all that also with your right hand so you have two mappings that you can use to enable and disable your, your hands so for instance I will usually fly my, grabbing my hotas with both hands disabled with no hands and when I want to do something with the cockpit I just enable one of the hands do some stuff and then click and and it's gone again that's a really really good solution for the, this problem uh, you only need two free buttons to be able to, to map to do that the mappings the new mappings are in the UI layer group of mappings here you have to choose UI layer under the VR section you have VR left hand VR right hand enable disable so just map those two to two button buttons that you can use and you now are able to disable the hands so they don't break stuff when you're using your your hotas uh, just in case if you haven't tried this before if you want to use this feature you, you first need to go to the options special tab and under the lip motion section just enable the support for the lip motion there is also a feature that it was present before to be able to use a laser pointer with your hand to interact from a distance not physically touching the, the buttons you want to use but, but basically pointing at, at them I'm not using that feature and I will show you why but there is also a solution for that so here under options VR tab you have this combo box where you can use laser pointers in both both hands left right or no pointers if you use the pointers basically the, the main issue is that the support for physically interacting with the switches becomes crazy it, it breaks so I previously show you how to use this switch and now that the laser pointer is enabled I can no longer use this switch and the way of using it when the laser pointer is enabled is basically point with the pointer to the switch and either do it from a distance and have a couple of mappings for click and right click that works but if you want to physically interact with it when you approach it it, it goes like crazy and does random stuff so I don't want to use the laser pointer because it breaks the, the feature that I like the most which is interacting with the, the physical switches so let's disable it no pointers there now the physical interaction works like a charm but there is one other issue let's use those switches there as an example those that are there below the the volume master volume are all of those switches if I want to interact with my hands with those switches I have a real-life keyboard here 
and my simulator chair has a, a thing here that doesn't let me really reach with my hands those switches. So I cannot I cannot interact with them with my hands. They are blocked by, by stuff. The same happens in, in this other side. I have real real stuff here that doesn't let me touch touch those those controls over there. So I need a pointer. But the pointer, the official pointer, breaks this other feature that I, I really want to use too. Luckily there is a solution. The solution is basically using the Fingers application. Uh, the Fingers application is basically a, an app that a third party, a guy developed, and it lets you use your hands as pointers, similar to the, the official support, similar to official pointers, but without showing those hands in, in DCS. So if I disable both, both hands, now you can see that I'm moving the, point, the pointer like you will do with the with your mouse but I'm not doing this with a mouse I'm doing this with my real life fingers so that's why the, the app is called like that so I can point to stuff with my finger and again using the the click and right click mappings I can just interact with those switches and the stuff so with that application and the official support with the new feature to disable or enable the hands I'm basically able to use my hands in two different ways that cover all the, the use cases I want. When I want to interact physically with stuff that I have easy to, to reach and, and uh, that isn't blocked by real life stuff, I just enable my hand, do, do the interactions and then disable the hands. And when I want to use controls that are out of reach or uh, weird angles and stuff, I just use my finger to point, click with the mapping for the click and then I can use those controls too. So that's it. So now we have a, a way of using the lip motion with all the cool looking stuff like doing clicks with a real life finger and still be able to use those hard to reach or, or hidden controls. Uh, I want to, to especially thank both uh, ED for implementing this this little really little fix just the mapping for that which is really really useful it's a game changer for the, the lip motion support it's basically the thing that allows me to start using it for for everyday flight and also I want to thanks the the guy that develops the finger app which is really also really really useful only the official support wouldn't be enough because of that problem with the hard to reach uh, controls so thanks to him too uh, that's it guys I hope you you find this useful and let me oh oh almost I almost forgot uh, if you want to use all these things you basically need the limb motion support uh, sorry the limb motion device the, the physical device the limb motion support is built in in DCS you need the official driver for the Leap Motion. I will leave a link in the description. And you need this app that I told you about, this Fingers app, that I will also add a link in the description. Just having that and enabling, uh, enabling the support in the special tab and then tuning all the, the settings is enough. You are now able to use your, your hands. So that's it. Now I think I'm not forgetting anything. Bye, guys. Good luck.